All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 3. So now I have 3 to the power of x over 3 is equal to 30 divided by 3. So this implies to 3 to the power of x over 3 is equal to 30 divided by 3. That's equal to 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of x over 3, well, 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So I have 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 10, and this simplifies to 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the, the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. Now an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1, and we can think of a here, or sorry, 3 here as a, and x minus 1 as b. So if I can move b to the front here, then so, I, so can i over here. So now I'm going to have x minus 1 times log 3 is equal to log 10. So now to continue solving this, log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So now I have x minus 1 times log 3 is equal to 1. Now, if I divide both sides by log 3, I get x minus 1 is equal to 1 over log 3. So now, if I add 1 on both sides, just to cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 1 over log 3 plus 1. So now, to find the exact value, log 3, I can plug this into a calculator, log 3, that's equal to 0 0.4771. So I have 1 over 0 0.4771 plus 1. So now, 1 over log 3, or 1 over 0 0.4771, that's going to be... Two point zero nine five nine. So I have this plus one. So my final answer is three point zero nine five nine. So this is my answer. All right. So in this problem, I have three to the power of x plus one is equal to twelve. So let me write this down. Three to the power of x plus one is equal to twelve. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log three to the power of x plus one is equal to log. 12. Now, I'm going to move this x plus 1 to the front, because if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can go ahead and move b to the front, so this would equal b times log a. So now I'm going to have x plus 1 times log 3 is equal to log 12. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and distribute the log 3. So now I have x times log 3 plus log 3 is equal to, or sorry, sorry. I'm actually going to divide by log 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x plus 1 is equal to log 12 over log 3. So now I'm going to go ahead and find the value of log 12 over log 3. 
So log 12, you could just simply plug this into a calculator. The value of log 12, that's equal to approximately 1.079. And log 3, you could also put that into a calculator. That's going to be 0 0.477. So I have 1.079 over 0 0.477. And if I divide those two, I get 1.771. Now I have x plus 1 equals 1.771, so all I have to do is simply subtract 1 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 0 0.771. So this is my answer. Alright, so in this problem I have x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 here as x to the power of 2 times 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I can write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 25, I can write as phi to the power of 2. So this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this can equal x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5, which is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, all I have to do is simply subtract 5 on both sides. These two cancel out, and I'll be left with x squared is equal to negative 5. Now, I'll take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 5. And the square root of x squared is x. The square root of negative 5 I can write as the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. And it's going to be positive or negative square root of 5. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1, this is actually equal to i. So now I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5i. So these are two solutions. Now for here I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. I'm going to add 5 on both sides. Now I have x squared is equal to 5. Now if I take the square root on both sides, the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 5 this is the same thing, square root of positive or negative square root of 5. So these are two solutions. So these are my four solutions to this problem. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 10. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by factoring out 3 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 10. Now 1 plus 1, that's obviously equal to 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 10. Now, I want to get rid of this 2 because I want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Now these two cancel out, and I'll be left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is the same thing as 5. So now, this gives me another equation. I have 3 to the power of x equals 5. So how would I solve this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log... 3 to the power of x is equal to log 5. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can actually move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 3, which is equal to log 5. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to log 5 over log 3. 
Now log 5, that's equal to 0 0.699. Log 3, that's equal to 0 0.477. So if you divide these two, you get 1.464. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 44 to the power of 44 over 22 to the power of 22. So now to start, 44 here, this is the same thing as 22 plus 22. So now this is equal to 44 to the power of 22 plus 22 over 22 to the power of 22. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 44 to the power of 22 plus 22, that's going to equal 44 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And now I have this over 22 to the power of 22. Now this is the same thing as 44 to the power of 22 over 22 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 44 to the power of 22 over 22 to the power of 22, that's going to equal 44 over 22 to the power of 22. And now I have this times 44 to the power of 22. Now, 44 over 22, that's simply equal to 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a times b to the power of m. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And we can think of a here as 2, b as 44, and m as 22. So we want to put this in the form a times b to the power of m. So we know that a is 2, b is 4, 44, and m is 22. So this is going to equal a times b, so 2 times 44 to the power of m, which is 22. Now, 2 times 44, that's simply equal to 88. So now I have 88 to the power of 22. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 1. So to start, 2 to the power of 18, well, 18 here is the same thing as 9 times 2. So I have 2 to the power of 9 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 9 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. Now I have that minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, we can think of 1 as 1 squared, because 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. And now that we have 2 to the power of 9 squared minus 1 squared, well, we can think of a as 2 to the power of 9 and b as 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 1. Now, if you guys already didn't know, 2 to the power of 9 is simply equal to 512. So now I have 512 plus 1 times 512 minus 1. And 512 plus 1, that's obviously 513. 512 minus 1, that's obviously 511. So I have 513 times 511. So to solve this, I'm going to rewrite both of these. 
So for 513, I'm going to rewrite that as 500 plus 13. And for 511, I'm going to rewrite that as 500 plus 11. So now I have 500 plus 13 times 500 plus 11. So to solve this, I'm actually going to distribute both of these terms. So I'm going to distribute 500 and 13. So I have 500 times 500, which is the same thing as 500 squared, plus 500 times 11, plus 13 times 500, plus 13 times 11. Now 500 squared, that's the same thing as 250,000. 500 times 11, that's the same thing as 5,500. 13 times 500, that's the same thing as 6,500. And 13 times 11 is the same thing as 143. So now 250,000 plus 5,500 5, plus 6,500 plus 143. Well, 5,500 plus 6,500 is simply 12,000. So I have 250,000 plus 12,000 plus 143. 250,000 plus 12,000 is 262,000. And 262,000 plus 143 is 262,143. So this is my answer.